Susan Wojcicki, YouTube's former CEO, has recently had something terrible happen to her. Let's talk about it. So you might have heard at this point, but for those who don't know who's going on, let me give you a rundown. About a week ago, Susan Wojcicki's son had unfortunately passed away at the age of 19 years old. It's really genuinely sad that he died, and my heart goes out to Susan as well as her family. Nobody should ever have to bury your own son. But what's even worse is that there are people who are trying to celebrate his death because they don't like Susan. Now look, I can understand not liking Susan, but her son had nothing to do with it. But it seems like people genuinely couldn't give a shit about that. So let's mock their posts. Post number one. Firstly, we have this guy who posted a tweet saying, YouTube actively censored anyone critical of them and the methods that the government was taking. You can lie all you want, but I saw people getting beat up by the police for stepping outside of their homes. Then after it got published on YouTube, it got taken down for misinfo. And then this other guy brings up a good point. Again, what does her son have to do with this? And then he responds, Shitty policies come to bite you in the ass. She censored COVID mandates, and if her son died of a blood clot to the lung, heart, head, like my aunt, it would be poetic. So first off, I'm not even going to comment on the COVID stuff. If you genuinely believe that companies are trying to fool you into thinking that COVID is serious when it isn't, and that they were pushing for people to get the vaccine because it had microchips or whatever, and that police were actively censoring anyone who spoke out against it, first of all, seek help. Second of all, seek help. But that's besides the point. What does any of this have to do with Susan's son being dead? Do you really not care that somebody has to bury their own son now? Or is all you care about the fact that you can dunk on someone just because they happen to disagree with you? But let's move on to other things. Post number two. Next we have this dude who posted a tweet saying, Isn't it ironic that the woman who insisted on being the moralizing mom for the entire world through draconian censorship practices failed as a mom to keep her own son from the path of drug abuse and death? Troper appears to have died from a drug overdose. With all the livelihoods and families destroyed by Wojcicki's radical censorship policies, I can't shed a tear when karma hits back. Okay, so first of all, blue check mark, by the way. But second of all, I get that Susan has implemented some pretty extreme policies on YouTube. Trust me, I do. But just like in the first example, what does this have to do with her son's death? I'll tell you what. Nothing! Her son had nothing to do with the policies that she put on YouTube. Hate Susan all you want for the policies she put in, but do not drag her son, who had nothing to do with it, into this. Post number three. Thirdly, we have this guy saying, I don't feel bad for Susan Wojcicki. She opposed stricter border control. 90% of seized fentanyl is caught at illegal ports of entry, where fake families are often cartel mules. She is suffering what hundreds of American parents have because of the policy she advocated for. Isn't it so funny to see people grasping at literal straws and trying to bring literally anything up just so they can justify hating on a mother who just lost her son because of her political views? I'll say it once, and I'll say it again. Her son had nothing to do with any of the policies that she advocates for. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty about the border control situation and the debate surrounding it, because quite frankly, I don't think I'm qualified to do that. But even still, her son had quite literally nothing to do with that. Not only that, but there are people saying, Well, maybe if we had a stricter border, then he wouldn't be getting those drugs. To which I say, Bullshit. People who do drugs are going to find them, one way or another. Where it comes from doesn't matter. But that's besides the point. Stop trying to justify your hate of Susan by claiming that she deserves her son dying. That's genuinely one of the most disgusting things you can ever say. Post number four. So I think I've saved the best and quite possibly the most insane one for last. So you're gonna love this one. Finally, we have this guy who made a post saying, Shouldn't have started screwing over the small creators. Maybe the suspects to tie- <laughs> What the hell? Maybe the suspects decided to take matters into their own hands. I'm sorry, what? 
Ah yes, creators decided that it was down with the bourgeoisie upper class YouTubers and that it was time for the proletariat smaller middle to low class YouTubers to rise up and instate communism across the platform. <laughs> Man, where was I when the revolution was being planned? Okay, I know I shouldn't be making jokes about this, but can you blame me? You can't look at a statement like this and think, hmm, yes, this person should be taken seriously. But for those who want a more serious response, let's do that. No, obviously smaller creators did not find out where Susan's son was living and decided to kill him to get back a si- <laughs> God damn it, I, I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't be laughing, but what the hell was that tweet? How? How could anybody rationalize that in their head? Okay, it's just completely ridiculous. But let's play hypotheticals for a moment and say that they did. What does that matter? Should we just be okay with his death now? Should we just turn a blind eye to the fact that Susan has to bury her son? All because a bunch of smaller creators decided to take matters into their own hands and pay Susan back? Just because she screwed them over online? I'll answer that for you. Of course not. Before signing off though, I want to point your attention to the fundraiser attached to this video. It's a foundation that aims to help former drug abusers get sober and to help them in their journeys. If you want to help so that way stuff like this doesn't happen in the future, please donate what you can. Also, I just want to say that I'm sorry if I offended anyone by making jokes here or there. It wasn't my intention to do that, and it's just my way of coping when having to talk about stuff like this. I'm not in any way trying to make light of this situation. I'm just hopefully trying to lighten your day up and make this video a little more digestible since it can be pretty depressing. But that's going to be it for me for now. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, hit the like button and subscribe. But with that, I'll see you guys next time and until then, stay safe and take care.